Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have a new video going over the problems with the columns inside of Facebook ads. Um, I do have a few fixes to it, but it's not the greatest fix and I'm gonna kind of explain why the outweigh the pros and cons to this method. So before we hop into this video, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new Facebook ad videos surrounding this ATT update um, and obviously all marketing and related. So let's hop into it. So inside the Facebook ads account right now, you can see that these columns, they're reporting some of them, but they're not all reporting. As you can see right here, there's no totals or averages and stuff like that. Now, the problem with this is with the new ATT update, they're converting ad accounts from a 28 day view or one day click or 28 day view, 28 day click window up into a seven day click or one day click. And when they updated this ad account, it basically had some campaigns still on the 28 day view uh, or 28 day click and some on moved on to new ones, which caused discrepancies in how things are shown up here which causes for the reporting not to show up and you can clearly see this by going to customize columns and add in this called attribution settings so let's see oh or i might have it still set up there we go attribution setting apply so if i go through it right here I'll see right here multiple attribution settings. So that means it can't report because there's some that's reporting on a one day click and some that are reporting on a seven day click. And you can see right here, this is the old one right here, the 28 day click or one day view. And you can see some of my ones right here that are reporting have a seven day click or a one day view, which honestly a one day view is still gonna be obsolete with the new ATT update as they're converting everyone to either a one day or seven day click. Now. The problem here is, okay, how do we change this? Well, I mean, simple. You can just go inside the campaign, click on, you know, an ad set, go all the way down, show advanced options, attribution setting, and then change to one day click or seven day click. Now, the problem with that is, one, I already have this campaign converting really well it's you know delivering me some good results and i don't want to really screw that up so if i go ahead and i change the attribution settings you have to literally change all of them to the same one so i did do it for this one right here um i, I went ahead and i changed them all to a seven day click and it puts your ad set back into learning which is not good because we look at the last seven days, we've done 131 purchases on this particular ad set. We spent 3,000, made back 9,000. And now I just put it back into the learning phase where it's gonna throw off the results. We're gonna see poor performance on this particular ad set now because I just did that. Obviously I did it just to test it out, see what's going on, but that's an issue right there. So first thing, if you change all of them, you're gonna screw up performance. So, you know, that's one thing to look at. So in order to get your thing back here, you have to literally change them all to the same one. Now, the problem is I do have some on a one day click and a seven day click. And I tested it where I had just like a multiple in it, the one day click, which is the new supported one by Facebook and the seven day click, which is the new supported one by Facebook inside of here and having both of them in here did not show the results either. So they all have to be seven day click or all be one day click. Whereas I have some campaigns with both inside of it, especially in some of our scaling campaigns, um, where I have both, you know, a one day click and seven day click. So for example, I think this one right here, we got a one day click and a seven day click inside of it. And you see it's showing this multiple attribution setting, even though we're using the new updated attribution setting. So that's where the problem lies. You can go ahead inside of your ad account, you can change everything to a seven day click or one day click, but it will screw up performance because the way Facebook is optimizing, we have seen for spontaneous purchases, a one day click works better, just helping grab people 
active buyers currently in the market whereas a seven day click we've seen a little bit better for longer purchases um and you know i think different ad accounts too work based off one day click and seven day click so just going inside your ad account completely changing everything is going to be a mess um if you're someone who's never ever messed with this before you're still going to be, be a mess because if your campaigns are converting it's going to toss them back into the learning phase which again is not something we want so what can i do right now honestly guys it's it's kind of one of those that's like just wait it out a little bit just wait it out a little bit i know it sucks to hear that but i know facebook will have a i know this is just a bug facebook rolled this update out yesterday the 19th where we've seen everything just go crazy haywire but I know they're going to update it. They're, going to, they're not just going to make everyone go ahead and switch everything off. They're going to roll out another update to fix this. I'm sure this is an unforeseen glitch inside of the ad accounts that they were not expecting. So all you got to do, be patient and we'll come back. Manage your, still manage how much you're spending per day and looking at your Shopify revenue. Um, and then you can still check on like individual performance in terms of say clicking on a campaign and you can see the individual ad sets inside. So you can still try to figure out where all your money's going um for bigger accounts this will be a bigger issue but with a lot of different ad sets and stuff like that so just be cautious try to spend as wisely as you can but most importantly just be patient it will come back um, i know facebook will roll out another update um but yeah you can go ahead you can try this fix of updating everything at a seven day click or a one day click uh, look at your attribution setting by looking at that column right there so we can really see where um things are affected at but again is it worth it is it worth changing all this and completely screwing up performance that's the big thing you know i'm spending seven thousand dollars a day right now on this account i'm trying to move up to ten to ten to fifteen thousand dollars per day as aggressive as i can for this valentine's day sale for this particular ad account um and i don't want to i really don't have a day to waste for things or two or three days to waste because facebook needs to re-optimize because i I uh, screwed up all the attribution settings. So just things to think about. Um, I wish you guys the best. Um, just be patient. Try this if you want. Maybe if you only have like a campaign or two running, you're barely spending any money um, and you want to test this out, go for it. You're more than welcome. Just be cautious of the potential drawbacks when testing this strategy out. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, my name is Nick Terrio. And I post new videos every day or every other day around Facebook ads, digital marketing. My, my pure goal is to help out the average e-com business owner and scale with paid advertising and stuff, uh, showing you everything you need to be successful with Shopify in 2021 with Facebook ads, Google ads, everything like that. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a call with me um, and you're an e-com business owner doing over 10K per month in revenue, click the link below. We can hop on a call and do full audit of your brand, figure out the best price you can go um next thing is yeah if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for new videos every other day and yeah guys thank you all so much for watching i'll talk to y'all soon peace